Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Why am I in a squat position? Is that because this is an intro for my video, which is called Squat Talk. I have another channel called Squat Talk, but I'm bringing all the videos to my main channel, Strong with Raj. The basic idea is that I will make a video and speak to you guys in a squat position. And I'm hoping and requesting that you will also listen and watch the video in a squat position. There could be anywhere from two to four to maybe eight minutes. This will ensure that I am in a squat position on a regular basis, maybe daily. And also it can help you if you want to be able to go back to the roots and be comfortable in taking a position of squat. As you know, I'm big into strength training, big into back squats, deadlifts and other things. But this particular playlist is just about being able to be in a squat position like we always have been and maybe restart and recreate that habit that we've forgotten to be in a squat position. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to daily squat talk number I don't even know what number it is, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so long as I am talking to you in a squat position, this is the position. And so long as you are in this position watching the video or at least trying to in your own way. As you know, the aim of this channel is to promote this position to as many people as possible so that they can have the benefit of being in this position and take most of it for their health for their knees, hips, joint, and everything else. So, please make sure that you like my channel, like my video, or actually dislike it, if you don't agree with me or if you don't like it. And uh, subscribe and comment so that I can keep coming with these. I rem I'm really loving doing this. So, today we are going to talk about want, need and want. It became quite clear to me some years ago that a distinction between need and want is essential. And it happened when I was talking to my daughter who must have been 14 or 15. And before I could say to her anything about what she wanted, I had to think about it, take a few days, reflect on my own personal experiences or my stuff ups. <laughs> and then speak to her. And here we are not necessarily talking about the typical need versus want conversation that goes on about buying something, a car, a house, a gadget, a shoe, a jewelry, or watch. It is based on that, but the need versus want I'm talking about is applicable in many other things that we do. And in this chat, we will I will try to relate it to uh, what happens with gym, fitness kind of area. So yes, um, I had a chat with my daughter and uh, I was uh, successful in clarifying to her at such a young age the distinction that is required to be made between need and want. I'm not saying need versus want because I don't want to present this conversation as an argument. Uh, I believe they are not contradictory, they are not conflict, they are mashed into each other. And when they are so mashed, you could see them as just one. And this video hopes to shed some light of how to see them separately and apply to your life. So, I remember as a young guy, I was either 16 or 17, I started going to the gym. And uh, I watched this pumping iron, the Arnold Schwarzenegger famous, famous film documentary. And was I impressed? I was. And since then, I wanted to be a body like that. So I started going to gym more and more and wanted to have those muscles. And I started doing lots of isolation exercises. And... That led me onto the path of wanting. I was too young to know even what these two things are. And that happens to many people of that age. I spend a lot of energy and resources towards it. Much years later, 
when I became a personal trainer and a strength coach, I realized the need is to become strong. The need is to do strength training. The need is to do compound lifts with back squats, deadlift, bench press, overhead press, and none of the fluff. I got myself this tattoo when I was young, wanting to this have tattoo so that I can keep doing a lot of exercises like bicep curls, tricep extension, and make this bicep bigger, and so will the tattoo will go bigger. It did happen to some degree because I was going to the gym. But I realized as I became more of a strength coach that that is what is needed. My want of wanting to be what Arnold Schwarzenegger was in the pumping iron made me spend all my resources, energy, money, idea into a chase which is hollow and meaningless and useless. A want is a chase. A need is a pursuit. I read this famous, not a famous quote, but a quote somewhere which goes like this. All what you want, it's someone wanting you to want it. Which means it is heavily influenced. You are led to want that thing. It is never original. It's like saying uh, you have two feet. You can wear a pair of shoes at one time, but I think you should have 100 pairs in your, in your wardrobe. And I've met people like that. I have three pairs of shoes, work shoes, squat shoes, and gym shoes. These gym shoes are for shopping, walking, and everything else. That's all. And I've known people, I work with them, who have hundreds of them. That is madness. A want keeps you on a path to accumulate to keep wanting more and when you want more and more it can be a disease and we know that there are people who do hoard the basis of all that is a want a want does not bring you any ful fulfillment like i said need and want they are not diametrically opposite you just need to clarify between the two a need is authentic Authentic. A need serves a purpose. A want is exaggerated. It's like thought and emotion. A thought is by itself very basic, very simple. Emotion is thought times thousand, exaggerated, which makes you do silly things. If you understand this concept, it will help you make better decisions and not make decisions like I did of chasing a figure, a bodybuilding physique figure. There is nothing wrong with it. I just did not know how advanced that thing is, how it is not for me. For me, it is to get strong now. For me, it is to be able to be in this position and use the joints of my body for better health, longevity, and everything else. For me, it is all about doing back squat, deadlift, overhead press, bench press, in a program where it makes me stronger each time and that gives me muscles as well. That is the need. And I'm glad that I'm able to articulate this to you guys so that you can use it in whatever way, whether it is choosing a career, relationship, financial situation, or any of the kind of pursuit to avoid that it becomes a meaningful, more conscious pursuit than a chase. This is very important, I think. And this is where fitness industry is not serving its purpose. There are social media platforms full of men and women showing their bodies and images and promising them to the viewers that this is the way to be. Don't worry about heavy lifting. Don't become strong. Just get this shape and do whatever it takes. Same thing happened to me much years later after that, that I was very impressed and wanted to have six packs which i did i did got it and it stayed only for six weeks i was so silly and stupid to think that is the need no it was just a want imposed by different media outlets imposed by advertisement imposed by the magazines imposed by the movies 
when you are in it, you will not realize the effect of it. But the pursuit of it, the chase, is what is unhealthy. And we know that to be able to have six packs, you have to be well below two digits of your fat body fat percentage. And that could be unhealthy. If you're naturally like that, fine. What is the reason you're going to the gym? It needs to be very, very clear. It is because you need to go to the gym. It's because you need a healthy body and mind. It's because you've chosen that what you need to do. You don't need to do endless isolation exercises just to conform to a shape that has been strongly suggested to you. You just need to know what is good for you, what is healthy for you, what brings you value. Being a strong person brings you value or being being a person who has good muscles but is useless brings a value. It's totally up to you. Need and want. You have to make a choice. I have come across this by making mistakes and we call them experiences. But I hope that I've been able to shed some light on it. Anyway guys, I'm enjoying making these videos and I would really appreciate if you could like, subscribe and comment. And I will see you next time.